okay YouTube um, I'm going to continue the, the analysis for the 3d model that we had and we were talking about in the previous videos um, when you see the normal completion of the simulation on server you should be very happy because this is a good news so uh, as I as you can see I did uh, basically simulate the model and now it's time to uh, to look at the results so uh, what I'm gonna do the very first thing that you should always do is to right click on the results and go all the way down to the browse simulations or sim solution data whatever you want um, don't click on that okay you right click on the results and you go to the solution data okay when you go there you will see that the force virtual force and the Lorentz force are all there so these are one numbers because they are like um, a reported average on uh, basically uh, um, these are basically the uh, what it is that I'm looking for um, these are the magnitude of the force that you will get um, I think the maximum of that uh, I believe and uh, the maximum of that uh, so when you when you have this force over the phases different phases you will get a uh, minimum and maximum so this value that you look at it right now is maximum of that force um, yes so now what you can do is you can go to the AC or DC as I showed you in the two previous videos in the in the 2d design and uh, you can see all the stuff that uh, I talked about it the other time uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go to the micronutrients and you can uh, see all the the values here now uh, let me go back to to the AC and uh, take a look at the results again uh, as you can see here uh, let me go to the DC first and uh, start uh, talking about that um, as you can see here we have uh, a very small uh, yeah pretty pretty small magnitude of F uh, which for the Lor for the Lawrence and uh, also for the virtual we have a very very small force calculated and uh, that is actually different from the the 2d results that we had um, if you look at it it's actually 100 times smaller than the result that we got on the 2d design and the reason that it is is because in the 2d designs we were like thinking we will saying that okay this um, bus bars uh, has a length of one meter it was very very easy in the 2d simulations simulation environment to say one meter because you know we were working in a millimeter uh, part but still we were like so we did calculate that for the long bar which you know you will you will have in the designs whatever designs that you might have but now when it comes to the 3d designs we couldn't like, do that we had maximum of 10 millimeters as you remember for the X thickness and um, that 10 millimeters uh, you know will results 100th uh, less uh, basically uh, uh, force yeah right because the force is 100 less because it's all like over the the length and uh, when the length is 100th time the force would be 100th time as well and um, remember the force is the integral over the volume and therefore the volume is 100th time less, smaller therefore the force would be so these results over here are um, for that reason smaller than the uh, and the the one in the 2d and if you want to do exactly for the 2d the same results you can actually go ahead and do that uh, so now uh, let's lastly I want to do always this one because the last adaptive is very important you want to make sure that your designs are um, sorry the, 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 the adaptive pass and you want to make sure that your design was uh, rightly chosen so if I go um, from the first pass you can see that the design the force um, had like a very very different the magnitude of the force I'm looking at the last one if you look at it it's like pretty off like changing a lot and then it starts settling on 0 0.049 uh, and then it's stopped 
the last digits are going to change and this is a very good sign till you get the past 20. So the bad news here is we reached past 20 and we don't know if the simulator just cut it off because it was the last pass or because it achieved the resolution that we defined for it. So when you see something like that and you're writing a report or something very important and you, you want to make sure that your accuracy is like reached, um, you can just increase the number of pass and make sure that before it reaches to the limit of the pass, uh, you get the result. That is very important to do. Okay, uh, let's go and uh, create an, a phase related uh, Lorentz force and uh, basically take a look at um, the results. I'm going to right click on the force uh, overview. This is the same stuff that I'm doing uh, and I've done in the 2D design. So if you already saw the 2D design and you didn't like it, uh, you don't need to look again, but uh, you can skip forward. But if it's your first uh, video that you're looking at, so this is going to show you how to calculate the Lorentz force uh, with the calculator and the stack calculator um, or the field calculator in the Maxwell uh, 3D. Okay, let's go and select the J quantity and then uh, you go and select the B quantity and then you go to the complex and make sure that you are going to the conjugate uh, and then you want to have a cross product of that and then you go to the scalar and make sure that you're in a scalar wide in this time because we, we changed the perspective um, and then make sure that the complex is at real okay and then you want to make sure that your times everything by 0.5 so I'm gonna go to the number select 0.5 and then I say uh, multiply that and I will go to the geometry to do a nice um, integration of the entire force that I just calculated I will go to the volume and then I select the left and then I press OK and go to the integral and integrate everything and then I will say add that as force TC Okay, we know that this Lorentz force so and this time we just call it DC and the other one would be the AC okay so press OK now I'm gonna uh, create the AC force so I'm gonna go to the calculator again once again and this time I'm gonna go and select J and then I'm gonna go and select B okay and then I'm gonna go and cross them together and look at the scalar y and in the function I want to make sure that I'm in the phase and of course you want to go to the complex part and say at phase and number is going to be a scalar 0.5 everything's times by 5 of course times and then you go to the geometry and make sure that you do a nice integral over the design and this time I'm going to call that force AC. Nice, okay? AC DC. So uh, last but not least is you add the DC, copy to a stack. You also add the AC, copy to a stack, and then you sum it up together. And the result will be called force, guess what? Instantaneous. Okay, and then press OK and done. So now you can right click on the results and go to the create field report, not create any current report, be careful. And in the field report you can go and say I want to make sure that the field is um, versus uh, phase and over there you want to basically what you want to do is you want to go and select the DC, AC and in, in, uh, into instant, instantaneous by press the control key and hold it and just select those and uh, you know just say new report okay and now if you in this new report on the legend you want to see the maximum uh, so be able to quickly see the maximum um, you just need to go and first you have to wait there we go now um, I'm gonna right click on that and say trace characteristic add maximum of that and then place add and you can see it right there and then um, you know perhaps I want to go and 
maybe you can double click on that and go to the general and make sure that you are using the scientific and therefore you can see all the numbers and uh, fair enough I mean the numbers are not that bad I mean uh, we have 4.9 2.4 and uh, and a very small basically force that we got okay so here's the deal well when I was like creating the 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 currents they they were both in the same directions only with a phase difference so that makes them to have the same DC values and therefore uh, that's okay because in that case you have a positive DC and then you can see that the Lorentz is actually up okay that's good um, so so what did we learn here well the question that you an asked um, probably has an answer and uh, the answer that I have here is in the 3d design we can easily take a look at the both fourth um, virtual and uh, Lorentz which one was easier the 2d design which was what which one was more accurate in fact it was 2d design the reason is because you have less mesh to deal with and you can, you can get more accuracy out of it and so why people would not go to the 2d design instead of the 3d design because some of the designs cannot be um, projected in 2d design because they are not symmetric along one of the axes so if you can find a design that is symmetric along one axis get rid of it and just do your 2d designs but if it's but if it's not symmetric definitely you have to go to 3d designs if you increase the, the amount of uh, mesh on the 3d designs you can get a very good results and in fact you might be able to get even better results than the 2d design but that will cost a lot of computation and therefore for most of the cases it's not going to happen and therefore I will suggest you to go with the 2D designs. I hope that you like this video. If you have a questions, please or oh please put the questions right underneath the video, not in the message board, not in the uh, not in the email or something. Uh, if you like the video, like it. If you want to share the video, share it as it is in the YouTube and uh, you can uh, if you have a design, uh, you can send it to my email as you can see here and uh, um, if you have any suggestions, I'm, uh, I'm looking for the suggestions for the new tutorials. Uh, I, I've got so far a couple of suggestions and I'm going to actually implement them. Um, sorry I, if I haven't done it as, as soon as you want it, but uh, I, I'm, I'm on it and I'm going to do those things for you. Uh, so next chapter is going to be all about the transients. I'm going to add more and more uh, eddy current for the wireless power transfers and, and stuff like that, but uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, you can always subscribe to this channel so get always the updated videos and uh, get no notified when new videos are coming. Um, I guess that's it and have a great day. Thank you.